Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Game Development Tycoon. Um, if you remember the last episode, um, oh, we're doing some research stuff. So I am going to have Dick Sucker research uh, 3D Graphics version 2. We spent some money on that. We're going to have Luke research, let's see, multiplayer, AI companions. Oh, I like AI companions, but we'll have them do stereo sound. Let's see, the first reviews are in for Hard Dick Time. Was that, uh, that was our military game. That doesn't look good. Six could have been more. We need it to be at least somewhat successful. It doesn't have to be great, but very enjoyable. I forgot we released this one on our own. Beautiful. Oh, we might have made a seven. I didn't think we would. Achieved a great balance between technology and design. So, there we go. It's out. Hey, it's not doing too bad. I mean, it's not fucking huge, but... Okay, we're gonna get Greg to research... Um, AI companions... Should it be multiplayer? I haven't researched multiplayer. Can he research... Oh, we're out of research points. Derp. Alright, we've completed that in the stereo sound. I want to build our new custom engine then. We want the new 3D graphics. We want stereo sound, steering wheel, character progression, it's going to be expensive, better dialogues, level editor, and an open world. So hopefully this will be for like racing games and RPGs. A racing game that is an RPG? I don't know. It's going to cost us a lot of money, but... And then we're going to build a game for the new Super Nintendo. Luke Mills, boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Dance Again have created a fan game using a lot of material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisors strongly suggest that we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Let them be. It's not like, if we want to build a new dance again and we will, if they're having fun making a spin-off game, it doesn't hurt us. In fact, it makes people still think of and remind us. Remember us. It's not in competition with us, so let them build it. I don't care. Yay, hard dick time is selling well. Let's look at our game history. It's a prison simulation, that's what it is. People wanted that. For, it was a mature one, too. It's already made almost as much profit as Commander Oral, and more than the, some of the ones before that. Getting this new game engine going. Ooh, thank you. Hi, I'm Denise Reed, the main developer of Dance Again and fan, ga fan Game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Aw? See, that's why you want to... You know, sometimes it's okay if you don't make every fucking dime, because having happy viewers is more important. Dick Sucking Games is the best company in the world, and I'm glad to be a part of the fan community. Yay! I've gained 357 fans. Sweet. See? It's all about customer service. Servicing the customer. That's what we do at Dick Sucking Games. The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vony, Sony, a company known for General, for General Electronics, has presented a prototype called the Play System. Ooh. Apparently, Vony has collaborated with Nintendo creators of the beloved and successful... Uh, uh, NES and Super NES to develop what is basically a Super NES with a CD drive. If you never have, you should look up what that looked like originally. The thing that Nintendo and Sony made together that they never sold. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Sony and Nintendo jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. What?! Nintendo announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. And at that, this PlayStation was born. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Nintendo handi handing much of the control over to Sony. You just made your bi own biggest enemy, Nintendo. This seems to be the end of the play system. Man, maybe we should use this on the play system if it comes out in time. PlayStation. Yay, game engine number three is done. So let's... Um, let's look at publishing deals. A five for that. I don't really want to make one for that. Ooh, let's do that. We only need a six. Oh, hunting, any genre? I don't want to do hunting. Hunting, no. 
Romance? Yeah, we don't have those. You know, we are gonna... Let's see. Let's research. New topic. Romance. We're gonna have him research a new topic. Um, rhythm. And then we're gonna have Greg Gage... I don't know his name. Research a new topic. Music. So let's get our... Research it on. In two months, the NES will be taken off the market. All oh, that was good to us. Hard Dick Time's doing pretty well. Our prison simulate. Yeah, it's made over half a mil. It's a good thing we went to the PC, I guess. Yeah, Hard Dick Time's off the market. It sold a million. Or made a million in sales. Alright, so let's develop a new game. We're going to make it for everybody. Medium, pick topic. It's gonna be fantasy. I already, I already did that. We're gonna have it be action. Yeah, action. No, casual. Casual. Pick a platform. We're gonna put it on the Super Nintendo. It's gonna cost us a bit, but whatever. We pick our new game engine, which is awesome, and we're gonna call it in honor of Donkey Kong Country. You can call it Donkey Dick Country. How do I move that? Oops, shit. There we go. Donkey Dick Country. <laughs> We're gonna have 3D graphics. It's gonna be kick ass. It's gonna look as good as the original Donkey Kong Country did. Oh, it was a million in income, not profit. But still, half a million in profit was pretty good. So we want to have the... Oh, we don't need a steering wheel, and we don't need character progression on this. We will use those in later ones. Um, yeah, we'll have cut scenes. Cunt scenes? That's not what I meant to say. Not at all. So it doesn't need much in the way of engine, a little bit. It needs a lot for gameplay. And it really doesn't need much for story or quests. I mean, it's just kind of casual. So we're going to get... We're going to Donkey Dick Country. I love uh, Donkey Kong Country. That was a pretty cool-looking game. Um, let's see. Donkey Dick Country. You like to get it casual when you're donkey dicking it. Um, let's see. Dialogues? I don't think we need much in dialogues. We need an awesome level design. We don't really need much in the way of AI. We'll do something with level editor. And, um, hmm. Let's, uh, let's switch some of these guys. Luke. You go over here, and then we'll have George take level design. There we go. Then we get a little more spread out. The green is how much, like, I should have explained that before, how much work you're doing. Like, I'm doing 85%. I'm at 85% of the workload I can do with the two development stages. These guys are at 76 and 39, respectively. Oh, so come on. This is going to be for a new console. The NES is no longer supported. We did four games for that. And earned a total of almost a million on it. Come on, guys. Super Nintendo. We gotta be super. This is not very super so far. Not super at all. Okay, I definitely want stereo sound. We don't need an open world. Um, good sound, good graphics. So let's see. Luke... We will have you do graphics. Um, Gage? Is that better? No, I don't think so. There we go. Well, either way, we're one of us is going to be overworked. I guess it doesn't really... Uh, if anybody's going to be overworked, let it be me. I'm going to lead by example. Because I'm a kick-ass boss like that. Maybe I should have used more of the extras. This game it looks like it's going to be shit. Oh, man. Oh, let's, uh, marketing. We'll put it in some magazines, too. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't go with, um, a publishing company. So we're going to finish it. Yeah, it's not very... Donkey Dick Country doesn't... I think it's going to be a dick-appointing, disappointing game. Hey, at least that went way fucking up. Yay! Versatile released a successful game in each of the five main genres. Yay, some George or Gage got it a salary increase. 
We can research dialogue trees. So, okay, Luke, you're going to... Where are you, Luke? All right, let's see Donkey Dick Country reviews. It's not going to do well. Yeah. We need a hit, man. That was not so... Yeah, disappointing. I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was going to be better. Maybe it should have been a small game. I thought Donkey Dicks is what everybody wanted. It's a waste of time. Oh. Luke, you go take a vacation. It's your fault, motherfucker. Gage, you go take a vacation. I'm going to research... Um, a new topic. Spy, that sounds cool. Spy. And then, um, I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can do something with a publisher. Unless the PlayStation comes out. Donkey Dick Country was definitely... I thought our new game engine would be better with it, but... You know what? I have a better idea. We're going to release another one on the Super Nintendo. We're going to see what the, um... Where are the publishing deals? Uh, eight? Any prison? No. Who wants a prison game on the Super Nintendo? Six? That I might do. Six for the Genesis. Seven for the... An RPG. Oh, I'd like to do an RPG. We're going to go with this. We're going to accept this one. Why can't I? Game... Oh, we have to do game development? I wasn't looking. That sounds boring. We're going to do a new game. It's going to be free. It's going to be small, young. Topic is going to be... Is there racing? We're going to do racing. I don't think we've done that yet. Genre. Um, casual. Pick a platform. We're going to do it for the Super Nintendo. Game Engine, our new one. And it's going to be like Mario Karts. But our... It'll be dick... Let's see. Dick sucking. Bro. Karts. Karts. Dick sucking karts. I guess we'll have to go with that. Sounds weird. Drop dildos and stuff out, I guess. Kids love that stuff. Awesome new graphics. There we go. So, we got to use the steering wheel. There's, we don't need character progression. We really don't need that. Do we in a racing game? Cutscenes or linear story? I'm pretty sure we don't. We want good gameplay, though. Yeah, we don't need story or quests. Mostly gameplay. I guess we'll put a little in engine. A little less in story and quests. Sounds good to me. Dick sucking cards. Let's see. A casual racer. We don't really need dialogues, I don't think. I mean, because we're not going to really talk. It's mostly going to be just level design. Maybe a little bit in the AI. Yeah. Come on. We made the dick-sucking bros and donkey dick. They can race each other, just like in Mario Karts. And we don't need much for world design. You're going to be on a track. You don't need an open world. But we do want graphics and sound to be awesome. Hell yeah. Oops, and let's market this thing. We'll go with magazines and demos. Take it up a notch. Man, this game looks like it's going to be better designed than our last one, though. Last one was not designed very well. Man, Donkey Dick Country lost a lot of money. That's not good. That is not good. Fix the bug, please. Can we get a little better with our dick sucking carts? Yeah, we lost money on Donkey Dick Country. Hopefully, Donkey dick sucking carts will turn things around. I really need to do a deal with a bigger publisher. Great combo. Yeah, story quest level up. World design, even though 3D graphics, fuck yeah. The better we can get at that, the better. Hey, Luke got better. He's going to want a raise now. Luke gets a raise. Branchy storyline, day and night cycle. I would like those. Game convention. Dear Dick Sucking Games, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet no, is known as Games, Games, Games. Known as Games G3 instead of E3. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games. And we think our audience would love to see you there. We'll contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 committee. So we got a ton of research points now, a hundred. 
I think we're gonna just spend some on new topics. Cyberpunk. Your first reviews for donkey dick sucking carts is in. Please be high, or at least decent. Eight, yeah, it's about time. Come on. Yeah, you can shoot dicks at people. People love that. Racing and casual is a great combination. Seven? All right. Hopefully that'll be a step up. We're gonna have him research. Multiplayer. And we'll have you research. Uh, a dialogue tree. Come on, dick sucking carts. We really need to do one with a publisher, but we need to find something that we can do well with a publisher. Boom! Cyberpunk's completed. Multiplayer's completed. Greg, hurry up, you butt munch. Or gauge. I don't even know your name. So let's get going on our new tree. T uh, tree? Whatever. New game engine. Pick the platform. Um. Man, it's still got a big market share. We're gonna go with the PC. Let's pick a topic. Let's do a cyberpunk RPG. That sounds really fucking cool. And we'll do medium. Oh, that's a lot of money. You know what? Actually, let's see if there are any um, publishing deals that would let us do that. Prison any genre? We're not doing a prison game for the NES, Super NES. Game dev we're not doing. Uh, these are all basically... Any topic RPG for the computer? We'll accept that. Oh, it's got to be young. I think I like cyberpunk though. Fuck it, we'll do that. Young, medium, cyberpunk, PC, and we're gonna use our new game engine. And what should we call it? Um, I think like cyberpunk. That's not a good idea. We'll call it I don't know, Hacky McGee, Hacky Sacks. <laughs> Hacky sacks, that sounds great, because you can hack and we do our awesome graphics. I don't know how awesome they are, but... Come on, team! We want character progression, you've got to have that, and cutscenes, and linear storyline, and story quests. It's an RPG. The engine level's not as important. It matters, but... Because we want this to be a kick-ass... And we probably don't need the steering wheel. Oh, I, I gotta put people on there. So we'll put me on story and quests, Luke on game playing, and Ga Gage on just the engine. Gage still sucks at, sucks at design. Come on, cyberpunk RPG, RPG. This could be awesome. Dick sucking carts is selling well. So starting to make some profit. I don't know if it's going to make enough profit, but... Come on, dudes. So we want better dialogues, because it's an RPG. The level editor, better... Uh, is the AI super important in an RPG? I think we'll leave it on there. Dialogues need to come up. Level design should be pretty good too, I think. Yeah. And now I need to... Um, let's see, Gage, we'll let you do level design. I want to do dialogues. And Luke, you do AI. There we go, we're all gonna get better. Hacky sacks. Sacky hacks. Dick sucking carts is off the market. It sold 65,000 units and made almost half a mil. Or brought in almost half a mil. That did not do so well. We did not make much money on it. Big convention. Game convention will take place in four weeks. We want a small booth, because if we keep losing money at this rate, Dick sucking games is gonna fold. Come on, hacky sacks. Good game design. We've got a game, need a game that pulls us out. We're finally having to work with a publisher. So we want stereo sounds. I want an open world. I want an open world in an RPG. That's more fun. That's part of the things I love about RPGs. So we'll put that up. We can take the sound level down, I think. Sound's not going to be as important, though hopefully it's decent. Gage, you work on level design. Luke, you work on... Oops. You work on graphics. And I will work on audio. Just a little over text, not terribly. Come on, let's make this game game-tastic! Let's make this game the best game we've ever made! Seems that the market responds particularly to well the games with new topics at the moment. This is a new topic for us, Cyberpunk. 
So maybe let's get to... Oh, no, no! Sorry. <laughs> We're going to advertise with magazines and demos. Small campaign. Do we go all in like that? Can't afford a lot. We're going to go with magazines and demos. Get some hype going. When, when's our booth happen? Yeah, Hacky Sacks. Don't you kids want to check out Hacky Sacks? Come on, everybody. Come to our booth at the convention. Hey, lady. Do you like my sacks? More people! I need more people to look at my sacks. Look at them. They're fabulous sacks. They're sackalicious. So, 44,000 people did. We didn't make it in the top 100 for booths. So that's okay. We didn't spend a lot. So let's get these bugs out. We got a lot of hype going. Let's get rid of these damn bugs. Any more goodness? No, don't put new bugs in. Sequels. We should research that. All right, so I guess, oh, once we fix the stupid bug we put in, let's finish it. Come on, this has gotta be the best game we've done in a while. Hacky Sacks, yeah. Our cyberpunk RPG. It sounds so good, I wanna play it right now. I wanna play with those sacks. <laughs> yeah, come on, we're getting better at everything. Yeah, dick sucker. I'm level five. So let's release this. Reach level five with a character. Achievement unlocked. Summon your team has reached experience level five. This unlocks a special training item called boost. The training for it is expensive. You can only do it once. The character has at least 500 design or tech points, but the investment is worth it. Once trained, boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and to really help make a hit game. Okay, so let's see if... Ooh, Easter eggs and new graphics. So let's... Yeah, okay, yeah, don't train them too much. I just want to see the boost thing. There are different training options available. Yeah, I know, blah, blah, blah. So boost. We need to have, oh, our design's not at 500, so I can't do it yet. Or technology at five. We can research, though. What was I going to research? Um, new topic? School? That sounds stupid. Let's do hunting. Hacky sack reviews are in. Oh, I hope they're good. Oh, that does not look good. Come on, cyberpunk. It's new. It's an RPG. That sounds like cool. It's beautiful. Oh, man. We're not going to succeed with our publisher. We had to have a six. I thought we could do that. We're going to be like just under it. Fuck. Yeah, see, cyberpunk and RPG is a great combination. We failed, though. I failed. Do we have a publisher? Or did I forget to get a published deal? No, I'm pretty sure we did. The game doesn't live up to expectations. Ah, oh, fuck. So we're penalized. We gotta start on a new game right away. We're just not doing very well. Any topic? Simulation? Alright, we're going to accept this contract. Pick topic? Um, what would be good? Government. That'd be a good simulation, right? We've not done that before. Can we change that? I wasn't paying attention. Pick platform. I thought they picked for us. Didn't they? Let me see. <laughs> what was it? Oh, we can do it on anything? Okay, we're going to accept the contract. So we're going to do a mature audience. Simulation, government, pick platform, it'll be the PC. We we'll use our new game engine. I guess we'll make us. Oh, we don't get a choice on that. We're gonna call it it's government. It'll be um hmm. It's a good it's gotta be sim something or other. Sim corrupt politician. Oh. We'll just call it corrupt politician. You get a simulation game where you get to be a corrupt politician. Wouldn't that be fun? You get to bribe people, take bribes. We'll use awesome graphics. It'll be all 3D and shit. Why not? It's probably not needed for a simulation, but... Um, so we'll take our story quest down. Put the engine up, I think. Right? Because you want to have it be really good with the, uh, the way it figures it out. Cut scenes... I want to cut scenes in the... 
Uh, do we really need those? I want those in them. Maybe we don't, but I want them. We don't need a steering wheel. You can drive as a drunk politician. Uh, the gamepad. I guess we'll leave that in there. Character progression. Definitely want character progression in there. That sounds cool to me. Hopefully this isn't our last game. We've lost a lot of money. Proposition. Let's decrypt this message. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer $56,000 to the enclosed location and we'll initiate sabotage. No, we're not going to sabotage the opponents. That's not how we work. Maybe it would be fun, but no. Today, Sony has announced a very own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System to a uh, prototype after Nintendo canceled the project. Look, it's the PlayStation! The new Play System comes with a CD-ROM, 32-bit processors, and wholly owned by Sony. Industry professionals say this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nintendo declined to comment. The PlayStation will enter the market next month. I want to make a game for it, but... I don't know if we'll be able to afford to. So, let's see, a simulation. Dialogues aren't going to be terribly important, but artificial intelligence will. Um, let's see, is anybody too overworked like this? What if I put uh, Luke on here and put me on uh, AI? Yeah, that's better. Corrupt politician. Oh, I was What do we have to meet to meet our thing? Six? I should have paid more attention. Oh, let's hype it up a little bit. Marketing? We just do magazines. It's the old-fashioned days, pre-internet. Let's see. I don't think we need an open-world design, really. Do we for a sim? I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's really that big. I do think the sound's important. Because you want to hear the halls of Congress as you're getting bribed. Ooh, that's almost... Everybody at 100%. Ooh, the PlayStation's out. I really want to make stuff for it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Look at us go. We're doing pretty good. Come on, get rid of that bug. Can we get our designer tech any higher? Our tech's really good on this. It's like... Hacky Sax is off the market. It had over one and a half million in sales. Let's, uh... Hey, it actually made a profit. Kick-ass, it made a decent profit. Good, we needed that. Are we done with this? All right, let's release Corrupt Politician the Simulator. You can take bribes. Ooh, we were really good at that. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be successful. We had to go back kind of to the PC where we started. Yeah, graphics are up. I think we're going to be stuck with this game engine for a bit, though, because we're kind of... We really need a hit so we can get some more money and... Do an increase in experience. Great, uh, Gage gets the increase in money. We can't do that, dude. Oops. I'm not trying to hire new people. So, let's see. Um, let's see. The reviews for Corrupt Politician. Wow. Wow, a 10! Yay! Yay, another 10! Wow, maybe we should have released it for something else. Another 10! Hell yeah! A 9! Yay! For once we didn't... We didn't let down the publisher. Talk about awesome. Cult status set a new standard for the early gaming industry. Hell yeah, millions! Okay, we're gonna research... If this is good, we're gonna research the new graphics engine. You, we're going to research um, sequels. Gage, you're going to research um, AI companions. Yeah, look at the money coming in. This is the chance if we're going to to really make a push for the future. Code Meisters, the game meets the required ratings. We look forward to future business. Hell yeah! Look, we're getting a bunch of new fans. I think this is where we're going to end it. I did not think this was going to do so well. Corrupt politician. I didn't think a game sim about being a corrupt politician would be what would turn us around. But being dick sucking games, maybe I should have. Next time we come back, I think we're going to research a bunch of stuff. We had all these research points. 
Maybe see if we can do a new game engine and do something for the new PlayStation. So thanks.